Chapter 1. If you have the wrong mindset, you will fail, no matter how much you earn. How do people get rich? Fate? Luck? If you belong to the category of people who think luck and fate are reasons they are not rich, that getting rich is beyond their control, then you are jeopardizing your chances. You can get rich by controlling your future. All it takes is planning. If you believe it's futile to plan ahead, you will find yourself in a weak position to tackle life challenges when it strikes. Without adequate financial plans or health insurance, when you lose your money or become ill due to a recession, for instance, you can fall into more grief than necessary. I am a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. Thomas Jefferson If you live from paycheck to paycheck, a sudden loss of a job can have dire consequences. It would mean you can no longer afford your rent. If you do not plan your life, no matter how much you earn, you can go broke. It can be tempting to spend all you earn while you have it. After all, you do not know what tomorrow holds. This is the reason people spend huge amounts on gratifications such as luxury cars or expensive dinners. This mindset will drain your income and reduce your credit range because, irrespective of what you earn, you will spend it. There are stories of many rich footballers who go from wealthy to broke after their footballing career. Did you know? It's true you can be struck by lightning tomorrow, but this is highly unlikely. And if it does happen, you should be glad you planned for it with enough cash when you need it. Chapter 2. The conventional strategy to wealth is unsound. Have you also been told the strategy to wealth is a good education, get a well-paid job, work as hard as you can and save, then invest your earned money? After 40 years, you will have saved enough to retire and enjoy your wealth. Well, this strategy is flawed. First, you might not earn enough. There is a cap to how much you can earn from salary. Also, you can't keep raising your work hours indefinitely. It's not possible to work 1,000 hours a week, nor can you request for a 200% pay raise, even if you are the most valuable employee at the firm. Thirdly, you can't control the stock market. You might invest in stocks that plummet or those that simply won't grow in value as expected. And finally, your savings and investments are subjected to inflation, and you may end up with a fraction of what you originally saved or invested. So, if you manage to save about $2.5 million after decades of long hard work, that is only worth $250,000 in today's dollars. Add to the mix the probability of being alive to enjoy it. On the other hand, if this strategy works for you, the only time you can reap the benefits is when you get old. This strategy is based on working very hard when you are young, so you will reap the rewards when you're old. Consider a better idea to enjoy your retirement. Retire when you are young. Your vitality and health will deteriorate as you get older, and these two are key to enjoy free time. It is a far better choice to go hiking when your joints are healthy than when you ache from arthritis. Chapter 3. You don't need a flashy degree to get wealthy. Yes, you don't. Specialist jobs like medicine require special education. No, getting a flashy degree is not the best route to wealth. Most times, education expenses are so high that it cancels the high salary you intend to earn by doing it. On the other hand, you would even earn more with a college degree if, for instance, you go for an MBA. The financial setback is a huge consideration. According to the College Board Report, an average college degree, including room and board, will set you back nearly $60,000. This often leads to taking student loans, which makes education more expensive, with no assurance of a good-paying job after college. On the other hand, college-educated adults earn roughly $54,000 per year. When you consider the cost of completing a college education in terms of money and the years, you have very little time to pay the loan back in the future. A traditional college will encourage you to think in conventional ways. You will be imparted with the key concepts of your field and how to solve specific problems, but not how to think outside the box. In the financial world, this translates to understanding how to calculate the return on investment but unable to create a new, innovative way to judge investment value. Amazing business ideas do not require formal degrees. In summary, you can become rich without a college degree. It may require learning some skills, for instance, to develop a lucrative internet service by yourself. You need to learn how to code, but you do not require a computer engineering degree. After demystifying the conventional thought and strategy about wealth, let's consider how to make wealth. But first, what is wealth anyway? Did you know, some of the world's richest men like Bill Gates, Michael Dell, and David Geffen never completed college? Chapter 4. Wealth is not money, but money can increase your wealth. What is your definition of wealth? 
Most people attribute wealth to money, but there's more to it. Wealth is a combination of things that bring fulfillment. It has three vital components which make us feel happy. The first is meaningful relationships, family and friends. The second is health and fitness, and the third is freedom. Wealth is not about piles of cash. Does a lonely and depressed person with a bloated bank account look wealthy to you? Additionally, being financially wealthy does not automatically place you on the path to wealth. It only brings freedom. Money is not all-powerful, and it has limited impact. You can purchase the best health care with money, but no amount of cash will transform your body into top condition. Neither can you exchange money for meaningful relationships. This is slightly different in the case of freedom. Once there is plenty of money, you can live comfortably and do not need to exchange money for a time as you would do in a job. So when you are in this situation, you can use your money to buy the freedom you need and spend your time as you like, visiting places you love to see and do the things you love to do. Freedom means living where you want, enjoying your hobbies irrespective of the amount. This is how you can use a lot of cash to increase your wealth. Chapter 5. Becoming a millionaire is the result of a process, not one big hit. In today's world, you will read news about a 20-year-old presented with millions of dollars for his internet company. Headlines like this encourage people to believe riches come in an instant. This is not true. It is a process. You can't suddenly become rich. Before every multi-million dollar deal, there was a well-thought-out plan which took years of work. For instance, an elite basketball player contract is the culmination of years of conscious practice in games, giving up leisure for activities that may negatively impact his performance. So stop waiting for a big break. Doing so will encourage you to make poor decisions. This unrealistic chance will prevent you from working in a way that will help you accomplish your goals. Stop waiting for that one big chance to gamble on an odd, lottery, or to audition for a game show. Instead, make a plan. To become wealthy, you need to create a product or service that is self-sustaining. This will take time and planning. But if you want to be wealthy such that you no longer have to work, then you need to create a product or company that generates revenue while you're not working. All events of wealth are precluded by process, a backstory of trial, risk, hard work, and sacrifice. If you try to skip the process, you'll never experience events. M.J. DeMarco A good example is J.K. Rowling. Her best-selling book series, Harry Potter Books, and the movie adaptations were very successful. This made her a multi-millionaire, and up till date, she still makes returns from her books. This is the most effective way to become rich, as your income is not dependent on your time. Identify a market gap, write a solid business plan, and learn the skills needed to execute the plan. Chapter 6. To get rich, you need to think like a producer, not like a consumer. We were taught to be consumers from childhood. We were inundated with pervasive advertisements in the media, and back home, the emphasis was Christmas lists and family brand preferences. This led to a constant desire for products. Getting rich entails thinking like a producer. If you have a consumer mentality, you will be limited. When you see ads from a customer perspective, your focus will be on the product, the satisfaction you will derive, and how to get it. When you view from the perspective of a producer, you derive a lot of useful information such as marketing, branding, and many more. You instantly connect with features to make the product successful and the strategy to execute it. You may even go further and learn how the company produces the product, where the ingredients were sourced, and learn about their revenue model. This analysis can tell you a lot about different business strategies. If you want to get rich quickly, start your own business and view the world through the lens of a producer. Traditional get-rich methods do not work. As long as you are an employee, you won't become rich. And since you can't rely on the next lottery, the only option you are left with is to start your own business. This way, you will get more income. To start, you need strategy and knowledge of a producer. Chapter 7. To be a millionaire, discard the saying, Oh, what you love. Have you heard the quote, Cash in on your possessions and money will flow? But in reality, nobody cares about your passion. They only want to know what your business can do for them. The worm must be tasty to the fish, not to the fisherman. German proverb. People will only be attracted to your product if it adds some form of value to their life. Many people are motivated by their self-interest and not the desire to make the next person happy. If you want your potential customers to be happy, offer them something valuable in exchange. This could mean solving a problem or need that helps them feel better. Consider a crime-ridden neighborhood. 
Your product could range from window braces or safety locks, not organic cheese or glamorous handbags. Stop thinking about business in terms of your selfish desires, whether it's money, dreams, or do what you love. Instead, chase needs, problems, pain points, service deficiencies, and emotions. MJ DeMarco. If you really want to turn your passion to money, that's fine, but make it exceptional and let it stand out from the competition. Because no matter what your passion is, it's likely it's not just yours alone. Think about the hordes of people who want to be a famous footballer, artists, actors, painters, and many more. If you really want to turn your passion to money, you better be prepared. For instance, to be a professional actor, you need to get acting roles or work for a theater art company. This stage requires years of hard work, dedication, and experience. Chapter 8. A business that's worth entering can't be entered without effort and isn't open to everyone. When you hear about a new internet business, one that has your best friends raving and best sellers telling you how to make money off it, will you go for it? Since everyone is sure, there is money in it. Before you make a plunge, you should know when it is easy to start a business, then it is less likely the business will make you rich. If the business is open to everyone, there will be intense competition, much like the passions mentioned above. When the competition is rife, there will be an oversupply and prices will drop. A market is never saturated with a good product, but it is very quickly saturated with a bad one. Henry Ford To enter into a business like this, you need to be very good at what you do. Starting a business entails many actions and choices. Even small businesses like a bed and breakfast in Napa Valley require finance, renovation of a suitable property, insurance, and permits before you can even think about hiring staff. Every other thing comes much later. Some network marketing companies promise that by purchasing a starter kit and filling out an application, you can become an entrepreneur. Treat this with suspicion. You may be joining a company with zero value. Rather than being an entrepreneur, you will end up being the client of the real entrepreneur, which is the network marketing company. Conclusion Many people try to protect their future the traditional way. Find a good job, work for 40 years, and save all for retirement. This strategy will only lead to long years of servitude with no guarantee you'll end up rich. Consider a better approach. Find a market niche, create a solid business plan, and build a system that makes money while you sleep. Try this. When next you are bored, learn a new skill. The next time you're bored, brainstorm for new product ideas. Read a tech article or magazine while stuck in traffic or while you wait at the doctor's office. Analyze your new purchases. View the world from a producer's lens. What are the selling points for these products? What is the medium of advertisement? And what market segment are the customers? These questions can help you create something or maybe identify a gap in the market. Conclusion all events of wealth are precluded by process, a backstory of trial, risk, hard work, and sacrifice. If you try to skip the process, you'll never experience events. MJ DeMarco You are the owner of your life, and your moves should be determined by you. Owning your life prepares you for a journey of choices where you have to decide between poorness, mediocrity, and wealth. Choosing the fast lane is the best option there is, and it is what you should aim for. Life will not roll into your hands. You must take charge of it yourself. What and who you would be in the next 10 years is determined by the steps you take today. It's never too late to start, and there's nothing wrong with failing as long as you learn to stand up after every fall. Moving to the fast lane requires critical evaluation of yourself and your current position. The most important step in doing something right is to learn how not to do it in the wrong way. Evaluating your current position gives you the required insight to know where you stand and what to do next. Many times, you make the mistake of sticking to the things that don't work for you. The fast lane helps you find out if you're doing the right thing or you're wasting your time. Understanding what works for you requires patience and careful planning. These steps have been highlighted above, and once you put them to use, you'll find it easier to live a happy life. Try this. Evaluate your life. Find out your present financial roadmap, and with the laid-down patterns, switch accordingly to get rapid wealth.